What's up, you cool cats? I want to welcome you to episode two of RangeHot.com After Dark. I'm your host, Hunter Elliott. As you have probably surmised, we save the After Dark reviews for just the most sensual of firearms. And this evening, y'all, I've got a gutter. Feast your eyes on the Range Tool Predator AR-15, chambered in. 22 arc yeah brand new cartridge last year i believe from hornaday now you're like well hunter you always kind of you know frown upon the new hotness and this that and the other now, now that's true that's i'll admit that however i spent the past you know couple months making friends with the 22 arc really getting to know it what is it like what is it not like and i can say that we have become close friends and so I decided that I'm gonna make an exception and like this new cartridge let's talk a little bit about the 22 arc then we're gonna get into the rifle Hornaday designed the 22 arc to mimic or perhaps even exceed 22 250 velocity however size down enough that it could be chambered in an AR-15 platform not an AR-10 and now on these ARs, we're running a 20 inch match grade Saturn barrel with a one in seven twist. So we can go to the ultra heavy 22 caliber bullets, 88 grain, 90 grain, but we could still shoot the 62 grains. And you know, I'm a speed freak and I love those super fast 22 caliber bullets. Now, if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing, sticking around seeing all the cool stuff we do now i did the stack the deck in my favor a little bit because we got this hubble telescope here mounted on it the leupold 8 by 32 by 56 millimeter mark 4. surprisingly enough they paired very well together we started out at 100 yards just getting the scope zeroed in and it was easily printing a uh, half inch three shot groups at 100 yards just under a half inch we stretched it out to four and five hundred yards and now we're getting inside of two and a half inches at four and five hundred yards oddly enough the 400 yard group and the 500 yard group were very similar <laughs> Three shots. With factory ammo and good optics, this is easily a half MOA rifle. Now, there, it's got a lot going for it. It is a free floated barrel. It's got a really nice four and a half pound match grade trigger, really nice comfortable mag pull pistol grip, mag pull adjustable stock. It is an adjustable gas block with a rifle length gas system. Full length Picatinny rail through the top of the receiver and most of the handguard. But Range Tool had the forethought to not add Picatinny rail where your objective lens is gonna be. So that way when you mount your, your optic, when you got that big objective lens, you can use the shortest rings possible. I thought that was pretty smart. The the bolt and the carrier and the magazine are uh, 6.5 Grendel, actually. I even printed right on it. So we've got a 6.5 Grendel setup running this 22 arc. Out of some 360 rounds, we didn't have any malfunctions or misfeeds. The rifle's a lot of fun to shoot. It's very well built. It's held up well. Now, I know 360 rounds ain't a whole lot, but I feel like, well, <laughs> Range Tool has been building ARs and an OEM parts manufacturer now for a long time. So I've got all the confidence in the world that they're gonna build a reliable rifle. But even this, this new venture with them, not only do I feel like they know what they're doing, but if there was a problem, it would have shown up in the, the 360 rounds. Now, as you gaze upon this, you're like, that looks like an expensive rifle. And you would be right. It is about $1,800 retail. 
However, if you like some of the design or you just some things on here you don't like, you can always reach out to Range Tools. Send them an email. Call those guys up. They're awesome people. And you could customize this rifle all the way down to you could get your own custom serial number. But you can have different barrels, different barrel lengths, different triggers, whatever you want. Think of it as a, a custom shop for your AR and a number of different calibers. If you're looking for a precision AR, Range Tool would be a really, really good place to start. And if you're looking for a precision AR in a really cool new ultra fast cartridge, here again, the Predator, I feel like would be a great option for, for those that are looking for that. Through the review, we did run a BNT silencer on it. The barrel is threaded 5 8 by 24 though, because it is a fat bull barrel, so it's got 308 threads, but that is a 308 can, and it did prove to be what I would deem hearing safe. As always, it's going to be an article on rangehot.com. It's going to have all the full specs, the ammo we shot, the groups they printed, and all that. This is just our video overview. But if you've, if you've enjoyed this, please jump over to rangehot.com, read the review, go from there. And then if you feel like I've left anything out, you're getting more questions, you can always reach out to me or to good people at Range Tool. They'll be glad to get you set up. Anyway, I'm going to conclude this evening of ranchhot.com after dark i hope all y'all are somewhere nice and warm and snuggly with someone you care about because i sure am my producer chad there and as he grins i'm gonna let y'all have it i want you to take care of yourself and each other look forward to seeing you at the range